so this video you're about to watch is from a good while ago but with all that being said um it was a good one so this is about a project motorcycle that i bought i still have it it's just it's in my shed and it's right now packed up for stored away for winter and at the end of the video we're going to talk about what we want to do with this thing because i need some ideas so think about that while you're watching this this is kind of just what i've done up to this point and what my original plan was to do with it and then uh now i'm thinking about it because i haven't worked on it and that should be coming back pretty soon but uh until then because i haven't even been in this garage for a week and a half now I, it's the first time i've been inside here and we got to get stuff done so we got to get that done and all that and my car done and then i got so many more things to do it's insane so we got to get all this stuff done that motorcycle i'm really excited for so that's going to be coming up after the the mirrors put back together so once park is done motorcycles coming in so i think i don't know i might have just bought another car we'll see anyway with that being said guys please enjoy this um it's a little bit of a shorter episode but it's just kind of what i've done to this point and uh i'll uh catch you guys at the end of the video yeah just finished up my four hour drive to pick up a bunch of parts like just parts that was at one point a complete motorcycle that ran and they decided, since they were a little bit of a, just a little bit of a bigger guy, riding a sport bike style motorcycle just is not for them. So they wanted to take the engine off and put it on a go-kart because it was a 600cc beast. So they started the project, they got other projects, and never finished this. So they just kind of had it apart, and that was it. Thankfully, though, this guy labeled everything. Like, all these electrical connections, these are all numbered. That should help speed up the process by about seven or eight minutes. And um, we got a whole bike to put together. We got a lot. Like, I'm sure, like, most of the parts are here. Like, obviously, the frame and most of the stuff there and the engine and the rear wheel and basic stuff. Um, That's all here, but there's going to be, I'm sure, tons of stuff that I'm going to need to buy for this thing. This is going to kind of be the winter project. Um, I'm thinking about doing a frame-off restoration, tearing this thing down to bare bones, and sandblasting the frame and repainting it, because overall, when I sell it, I want it to be sold as a mint condition bike. Um, that's my plan, is to sell it. I would love to keep it, but don't know if that'll actually happen. So, if it gets sold, it'll be sold as a mint condition bike, is my idea and my hope. What is it? Oh, by the way, this is an... It was listed as a 1998, but I'm pretty sure the title which I have in my front pocket. That's not a good place for that. Um, I think it's in 1994. Yes, it is. 1994. Yamaha YZFR uh, 600. I think. There's so many freaking different models. It's a 600cc 90s crotch rocket. It's a fun little bike, I would say. He does have a Yoshi exhaust, which I would say like the one thing that I was going to get for this bike to upgrade. So, I mean, it's already here, so that's good. And then, engine-wise, I'm going to do a full carburetor rebuild. I'm going to clean it, obviously, wire brush it, make the aluminum shine again, all that stuff. I'm um, going to put new sprockets on, new chain, basic, just general stuff that should be done. Make sure the rear brakes are A-OK -okay and in tip-top shape because just I want it to be a mint condition bike. So, I mean, will I get there? I don't know. This is, I'll show you a little more in depth. This is a pile of parts, literally. So it's going to be a rough challenge. So quite unfortunately, I mean, it's, this is, this is the motorcycle. There's, these are all the parts I have. This is it. So we're missing a lot of stuff. But for the price that it was up for, I just could not pass it up. So we're going to try to throw this together. And uh, it's probably going to take several weeks. So this is being filmed in October, like the end of October of 2022. I doubt I'll film anything else on this. Probably, unless I'm just cleaning and painting. That, okay, I'll take that back. I'll probably do cleaning and painting within a week or two. But everything else, probably won't even start even try to put this together for three weeks, four weeks. The end of October is my guess. And then we'll start throwing it together. And I don't know if I'll sell it over the winter. If it's going to be redone perfect, it's going to be sold at the price it's worth. And uh, nobody wants to buy a motorcycle in the winter. You can't drive them. So 
I mean, I might end up keeping it for a little bit and like take it out on any nice day that there is, but we'll kind of see. It's just a bunch of parts. And I mean, it's all, the engine's all there, which is the big thing. This would be a fun project to set up, I guess, as, as a go-kart, but I'd rather have the motorcycle. And uh, yeah, it's here now, so no turning back. Quite unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do lots of reading, a lot of reading. I'm gonna print out manuals upon manuals and diagrams upon diagrams for everything on this bike. Every single thing is gonna have to be looked over. And like I said, if I do a frame off restoration, I mean, it's literally going to be bare bones and I'm going to sandblast it. So one step at a time, though, and uh, we'll figure out kind of where we go. I'm not exactly sure. And I would like to do, you know, some small mods, you know, just basic stuff. Maybe put underglow on it, change the lights up, new turn signals, maybe some new grips or levers. And like I said, the Yoshi exhaust, I was really happy that he had that here. And as you can tell, this has been sitting for a year in his shed. Is it almost a year now? Um, he did this, started to take this apart a couple, many months ago, and it's very dusty, so it seems right. Now, the gauge cluster is down here. Yeah, here it is, somewhere, and uh, yeah, I'm basically too lazy to reach down there, so I don't know if you can read or not, but it has 26,000 miles. So, I mean, it's not the worst. It's it's just a, I could say, normal wear bike. So, we'll, we'll see what we can do with it. Like I said, it'll probably be a long while before I do anything big with it. Except for just painting and cleaning. So that's going to be boring, but I'll still film some of it and time lapse a lot of it. So. I'll see you guys then. And uh, we'll see if we can turn that and this into a beautiful motorcycle to hit the streets once again. And uh, it's going to be a long journey. So catch you guys probably in a couple of days, week, month, year. I don't know. We'll see you soon. Well, instead of writing my essay that's due tomorrow, I'm going to be working on this motorcycle that I just got. I figured I was I was actually supposed to work today, but I'm not working, so I'm going to use up the time while I have it. I'm um, probably going to do, like, mostly just cleaning and then figuring out what all I have and a little bit more of what I need. And I'll kind of set the camera up and I'll kind of talk about everything and uh, describe what I know I need and then all that stuff. So, I'll show you kind of on the bike. Alright, so, one thing I know for certain is, as you can see right here, we have these mounts that go across once your engine's up. I don't know if they have to be on before or after the engine's there. Anywho, you need them. Those are probably pretty structural. Um, maybe not as structural, but also guards for, if you wreck, you're not going to burn your engine. You're going to hopefully hit those, and those take most of the damage. I only have one. And I don't even know exactly what side that is yet. I didn't even look it up or fit it up yet. But I have only one of those. And so I need to get those. I found a set on eBay, though. So it seemed like it was a pretty good price. Um, I think I'm missing a coolant hose. Nope, never mind. Got one of those. All of the plastics and whatnot are gone. The seat. That kind of sucks. It has most of the stuff, though. And I went through... Pages upon pages of diagrams of this bike, every little thing. And I think I have enough information to take this all apart now and go down to the frame to sandblast it because I mean, there is a little bit of rust that's even starting paint chipping and all that. So I would like to take care of all that while it's apart. I think I have enough information I can safely take this all apart. And then if it takes me about, you know, probably a week and a half till I get this put back to this state because it'll take a couple days probably to get it down sandblasted painted time to dry and then it's ready to be put back the way it is but um yeah we're gonna start with that after we just plain clean everything because it's it's been sitting for a long time so we're gonna do all that by hand as well because I don't want to risk uh, getting all these labels messed up because I am going to use those to my advantage. So, very a lot of hand cleaning. Nothing, no pressure washer, nothing right now. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, jump right into this. In fact, I'll probably time lapse the cleaning, and then once I'm done cleaning, I'll kind of video a little bit of the tear down and whatnot. So, get ready because uh, this starts the project. Hopefully, and realistically, by the end of the year, I would like to have this thing driving. So, 
Let's jump right into it. No more wasting time. All right, well, I cleaned just a little bit, and I mean, it probably was a good looking bike, you know, 30 years ago. And I had to clean off the Yoshi. I wanted to see what that looked like. I grabbed a whole bunch of tools here, and I just, I realize now that it's gonna be so much easier just to take everything off and then kind of clean it piece by piece. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get a video of just kind of everything. You know, you need to know how she went back home. So, gotta figure that out. So, you know, it feels like it's a really you know, good working brake. Especially dual caliper. Yay. Lots of air in that. So, yeah, I'm gonna just, I grabbed a handful of tools, so. We'll just kind of start digging in. Uh, time lapse to tear down. And once I get some more stuff off, we'll start cleaning more. And just kind of set them in you know, pop this pile and then go piece by piece. That way I can use, I want to get all the electrical off so I can actually like pressure wash this. That's going to save me so much time. And then I'll go over all the small places that need it. So, yep, let's jump right into it. goodness guys it has been hours i've spent pretty much the whole evening but it's basically a frame let me show you all right so this is as far down as i'm going to tear it to pressure wash it then sandblast all of this this is all going to be sandblasted together i'm going to leave i'm going to spray paint this part or paint it just all the same color i don't know if i'm going to spray paint this I really don't want to but i might end up doing that so we'll see um, and I got a couple tools laid out. It really didn't take that much, but there's the motorcycle. That is a lot of stuff. I'm going to spend off camera. I'm just going to spend a little bit of time. I'm going to move this dirt bike and that bicycle. And I'm going to just, this whole area right here, I'm going to organize completely this whole bike out. And then I can, I can, those two run, or that's an e-bike back there. I, those two can move fine. So I can park those in the other shed. And uh, we'll have enough space in here in case we need to pull in a vehicle to work on it at some point. So I'll get that done and uh, I'll probably catch you guys tomorrow because this is a lot of progress. We'll probably start like actually cleaning tomorrow, hopefully pressure washing and whatnot because I do work. So it'll be dark again by that time. It would actually probably be about this time till I got home. So we'll see. We'll just play it by ear, I guess. And I'm also going to, because I have stuff off, there's... A couple things that I know for a fact I want to replace. Um, new shock. Probably going to do new wheel bearings up front. I think I botched one of them. New axle. Front axle. Yeah, I messed that up. That was an absolute monster to get out. I don't know why I think it needed replaced. I don't understand it, honestly. And then, as far as stuff that I've already seen, I think that's it. So, I'm just, just going to make a nice, nice big pile over there on a blanket or something. So that's coming next. I'll just, you'll see me again, you know, whenever the time span is, be like three seconds for you. All right, so let me guys know what you want to see us do with this. I'm thinking it's still a motorcycle. Um, it's, it's like ready to be sandblasted and the rest of the motorcycle, it's just all motorcycle stuff in boxes and parts and stuff. It's all here, it's all to balance, ready to go. But let me know what you guys think and what you guys want to see 
Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch all of you in the next one. Thank you for watching.